Thanks for sticking with me as we slowly make our way through this integration procedure. So in the last video, we had the set value step here, where we only executed it when the count of the um, extracted contacts is equal to one. And what we're going to do now is we're going to extend this to only run the load contact when there is no existing contact ID. And if it does get run, then we're going to create a set value step so that we set the new contact ID. So that all sounds very confusing, but I'll step you through it. So first things first, uh, we're going to click on to the data raptor post action that we've created here. And under the execution conditional formula, we want this step to run only if our set existing contact ID is nil. So I've got that on my clipboard already, so I'm just gonna paste that in there. And basically what we're saying is contact ID, which we set here, is equal to nil. So I'll just go click on that, and we can see we've got contact ID then. And I'm now gonna go and find a, another set values action, and click on that. And I'm gonna call this one, set new contact ID and then we're going to give it the same name so contact ID and we want this to equal so the way that it gets sent back in in the JSON is contact underscore one and ID and I'll show you this in the preview um, once we get it all set up so click on OK um, yes and so I'm going to go ahead and just copy in the same uh, execution formula and paste that there. We probably could have put it into a conditional block, but we've only got four steps, so we'll just leave it as that for now. Um, and let's, I'm just going to activate that and we'll preview it. Now, um, for those of you that have been watching, I did go ahead and clean up some of those contacts. I had far too many Joe blogs in my org here, so I've deleted a couple. So let's execute that. And I think it's worked. So we have over here, we've got a contact ID, which I'm assuming is the new one. We'll have a look in a bit. Um, and our count is three from above. And then it's gone ahead and it's created the new contact. So if I'm just going to come around here to the log and we'll just scroll down. And so we've got our new set contact ID, which is true. Actually, what am I saying? Of course, I, it's the new ID. I can see it right here in the contact. So that has worked as expected in there. The next thing to test is what happens if one is matched, um, can, does it return that one? So I'm just gonna go and I'll delete all of the other Joe blogs that we've got. So let's just come through and we'll delete them all. Actually, we just want to have one left. So I'll leave one in there. Let's come back in here and let's execute. And we can see we've returned one and it is giving us the ID of that one that's returned. So that's working exactly how we want it to and we've got it activated. So the last thing that we're going to do now is go into our uh, Omniscript here and we're going to create another step. And in that step, I'm just going to put in a uh, text block. Okay, and in text, I'm just going to say the contact ID is, and then we've called it contact ID, and we're gonna bold that, click on save. So what I might actually do, I am gonna change this slightly, is just say the new contact ID is, and then I'm gonna put in another text block, and we'll put that um, underneath. And we'll call this one, um, we'll say the existing contact ID is. And then I'll just put on a conditional view. So we'll say count is equal to one. And 
this one will be count does not equal one. All right, so let's preview that and see if it works. I'll just double check what Joe's email is. So joe at gmail.com, which is obviously a made up email. Submit that. And then we've got the new contact ID. So that's worked. Let's go and add in a new contact. Um, we'll call it Joe Blogs again. Um, so I'll just really quickly do that. All right, so we should have two Joe Blogs in there now. And if we come back in, design preview, we should have the existing contact ideas. Submit. And there we are. So in this mini series, what we've gone ahead and done is we've checked to see if there is an existing contact. And if there's only one, then it returns it. And if there isn't one, or if there are multiple of the same name, then it'll create a new one and return the contact ID.